So you've probably been playing the new Brookhaven update. I mean, it's a military-based estate that has all kinds of crazy stuff, including a jet. I know, it's kind of crazy. If you haven't seen the video where I teach you guys how to access the jet and use the jet and fly it and customize it, you might want to go see that. It's probably one of the previous videos on the channel. I'll wait. Okay, I'm assuming you're back. Yeah, that video pretty much goes over some of the cool new features that this military base offers. And well, today we're touching on another feature. We're looking at another feature on how to launch some new missiles and do a few other little sneaky little tricky things, right? So yeah, the military estate is one of the coolest additions and it finishes off the new game pack or the new game pass, I mean, known as the Estates uh, Game Pass. So yeah, this game pass is one of the more expensive game passes for Brookhaven, but it offers something like nothing else. South and North Estate lots are yours, and it allows you to increase your roleplay options beyond comprehension. I mean, you could spot prisons, hotels, and of course now a huge working, functional military base. So that's what we're gonna do look at this guys all the estates look so beautiful it looks like I, I i honestly have no complaints about any of the estates i feel like wolfpack from start to start to end made all of these estates so wonderful and now who knows in the future will we ever see more estates added to the estate game pass i think it's a most definite possibility but i now believe since we finally got that last one that said coming soon quotation well now it's finally here and i think the estates are pretty much good for now i think we're not going to see another estate for a while so the theme park water park stuff like that e e e wishful thinking buddy but what we do have now is a military estate and this one is just so cool and like i said guys we've been talking about a military base for like ever uh we've constantly been talking about uh the military base and if we were going to see a military base update or a jet update would it be possible to even be able to fly planes not just a a very easy going helicopter but actual planes or a jet for that matter well, now we have a jet that we can fly in. It's pretty cool. Now, starting off this, guys, what I wanted to do is not just teach you guys only how to launch missiles. Some of the people watching this right now might be like, okay, I know how to launch the missiles, but do you got anything extra for me? And that we do. So do keep in mind, the missiles are not the only thing that you can do here. You can actually shoot these guns here. So if you get in station here, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So there's this turret gun that you can shoot and there's also a tower over here where you can also shoot one so we're gonna go through all these shootable guns that are actually on the base that you can use and shoot from i think it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that this is a, a, a feature that was added dude you just can't beat it right so that's pretty cool right so you have that you and then over there at the other tower where the helicopter is is another one uh, that you can kind of spawn in now I'll, I, you know i never go down into the basement from this way for some reason uh, i don't know why i just don't but you can drive your vehicles or other military grade vehicles such as remember guys also uh, we already got a military vehicle update so we have like a lot of like the hummer and other stuff like tanks that you can kind of drive into this guys we we can really full out role play this now dude it is pretty cool right look at this so we can park over here in one of these parking slots dude i just took up two dude that's the worst parking i've ever seen look at that parking job dude hey no no dude i'm totally out of here dude i don't ever want to try parking again that was horrible <laughs> that was really bad but anyways uh onto the other gun that you can shoot which is over here and i think that's our final gun that you, the ears are the missiles dude these are the missiles you can shoot these things are pretty cool now this isn't necessarily shooting missiles isn't necessarily new hang on let's get this one amazing now shooting missiles isn't necessarily new this is something that we should know uh, the submarine home was also something that allowed you to shoot a missile from which is kind of where this kind of uh, uh, honestly guys all the previous updates kind of played on this bigger style update uh, that we see in this estate now i mean look at this dude if we zoom out and just look at the gorgeousness of this estate like it is truly a gorgeous piece right here so if we go in here we're now going to get on to how to shoot these things okay so uh, we go up here you will see a crazy control room a meeting room unlike any other um, and then you have all the controls over here that pretty much operate anything these are your lights for your basement 
These are the lights for up here, okay? Good thing to know. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how to get power to the basement so I can successfully and easily access the safe location. I might have already found it by the time this video is up, but I might not have actually. But I'm still on the search for that, and as I look over my paperwork, it says that you're still not subscribed. What, dude? Why are you not so Dude. No, no, it says right here. No, okay, what well, you are subscribed, but your dog or cat is not subscribed either. See, you need to get your cat and dog to subscribe for Rosie. Rosie needs supporters too. All right, so yeah, get get to subscribing. But either way, if we come over here, guys, this is how you're going to shoot the missiles, okay? We have missile ready, missile ready, and then we have two launch buttons. Now, once we launch these, these two missiles right here are going to shoot up into the sky, okay? You've been warned. This is dangerous stuff, okay? So this is how you shoot missiles, all right? We're about to do it. Launch in three, two, one. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, dude. There it goes. Oh, my God, dude. I want to I wanna watch it go up. Oh, dude. Let's go outside and see if we can still see them go up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang, they're gone, dude. Whoa, okay, wow. Okay, so I don't know if these things respawn. How you get these things to respawn, honestly? They probably have to charge back up, I guess. But, uh, wow, those things are gone, dude. All right, so that's how you shoot off the missiles 100%. Uh, working uh, tactic dude, but let's see if we can get these things to respawn in case we want to shoot them off again So how would we go about getting them to respawn? I wonder Missile reload. Okay, so in order to get your missiles back All you have to do is come back up here and click missile reload now once you click missile reload It will say that your missiles are ready again, and you can keep launching them So that's pretty cool dude how to launch a missile and how to reload your missiles That's a pretty good tutorial if I've ever seen one dude. Let's go do some bench press here. Okay? Dang! <laughs> Look at this, dude. We got dumbbells, bench press, sit-ups, whatever you... Actually, guys, I'm curious. What happens? House control button's also located, but... What happens if we put, like, a go... No, no, I'm... Oh, uh, nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, I got chills thinking about it. I'm not doing it. I'm not... Dude, guys, I will say this. Do this at your own risk. Do this at your own risk. If you have the disaster pack... Click on Ghost. Okay, click on ghost, go get you a flashlight. Hey, no, 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 come up here. Press that. Make sure your lights are off in the basement. Okay. My lights are on, let me go, let me go turn them off. So, dude, I, I honestly kinda wanna do it, but I think I'm too scared to do it, dude. I'm not gonna lie, so. All right, I think we turned the lights off in the basement. Let's go down in the basement now. Let's get our flashlight out. Now this area isn't too spooky, but it's when you go back here. Dude, if I have the ghost disaster pack enabled, dude, look at this. This just gets creepy, dude. There's just extra missiles down here. There's nothing over here. The floor is all cracked. It's just like a back room of sort, dude. Like really, guys. Well, hello there. <laughs> Dude, my head is glitching through the thing. All right. But yeah, it's like a weird back room like area. And this is obviously where the safe is. Um, you just press this, make it green, and then you can get in there to the safe. Um, I'm still I'm still unsure about that, guys. The correct way to go about doing that. I can, I can glitch myself in there to the safe, but we got the shooting range right here. Okay, we got this. We can fire that up. Now, my take is we definitely have to activate the power somewhere or activate something specifically, right, to be able to get the safe, to be able to easily open up. Now, I do want to look around under these tables and stuff, and I even want to go in the cell and look around because, guys, you never know where Wolfpack is hiding a secret because, let me tell you, Wolfpack definitely is hiding secrets all the time. So... I'm just being careful, and I'm trying to analyze and look at all of the potential secret areas. We got a shower here. Okay, very nice. So I, I'm always analyzing every corner, guys, because you never know what secret could be. In, oh, what? Has that screen always been red like that? I don't know if that's good. That's not good, dude. Probably not good. All right, anyway. So yeah, guys, that's how you launch missiles, reload missiles, and shoot all the turrets. Pretty cool. Actually, this is just... 
Dude, this update is amazing, but you know, we haven't even really looked at the normal house that was added in here as well, the new premium house. And I feel like we should definitely give that attention too because it's got some pretty cool stuff inside of it as well. Once more, Wolfpack, thank you so much for a phenomenal update. You're absolutely a legend at what you do and uh, you always aim to please the community and that is just truly remarkable. So thank you so much. And with that aside, I'll see you guys in the next one.